Welcome to the Chant School Podcast, where we learn to sing the ancient chants of the Catholic Church. The Chant School Podcast is a production of Floriani, a men's vocal ensemble dedicated to serving the church and saving the culture through the beauty of sacred music. I'm Thomas. I'm Giorgio. We are members of Floriani and your hosts for the Chant School Podcast. Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to our very second episode. (laughs) Our very second. second. (laughs) Our second episode of the Chant School Podcast. And last time we did um, the Ave Maristela. And I'd just like to say that you guys sounded great. You sounded very good. <laughs> we trust. We trust we that believe, you did. We believe. We um, believe. We're going to do a second Marian antiphon. It's the Ave Maria. The Ave Maria, or the Hail Mary, as we maybe know it a little bit better, um, is a combination of the two greetings given to Mary in the Gospel of Luke. First from the angel Gabriel. The angel Gabriel at the Annunciation came down and and said, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. That was the first greeting. And that greeting is particularly cool. As as Giorgio mentioned before we were recording, the fact that the angel Gabriel said, Hail to Mary, was a sign of a lesser creature greeting a, a greater creature. So an angel greeting a human being this way was a sign that that this human creature was higher than the angel. Another really cool uh, interpretation or translation, if you go back to the original Greek, instead of hail or ave, it's literally translated as be glad or rejoice. So if you look at the Byzantine or the East and the Eastern churches, they render this as rejoice theotokos. Theotokos means, I believe, God bearer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Anyway, so that's the first greeting, and that's the first part of the prayer. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. And then the second part is the greeting that Mary received from her cousin Elizabeth at the visitation. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. So those are like these two greetings given to Mary, but they're also sort of titles being given to Mary. She's being announced to the world as the, the mother of God, the highest of all creatures. Blessed among women. Most blessed of women. Um, Later, maybe for clarity, Mary's name was added to the prayer. So not just hail full of grace, but hail Mary full of grace. And then Jesus' name was also added. Always seems like a good idea to add the name of Jesus. Uh, But again, for clarity, who is the fruit of Mary's womb? Jesus is the fruit of Mary's (laughs) womb. The second part of the prayer didn't show up until maybe the 16th century or a little earlier. And aside from the chant, we, we see this... This hymn composed in many different forms, uh, not many different compositions, renditions. Robert Parsons composed it. Probably the most beautiful version is by Robert Parsons. Another version is when, by... When, when was Robert Parsons? Uh, Elizabethan period, so around the 15th, 16th century. Uh, and then you have Archidelt's Ave Maria and Victoria's Ave Maria, all beautiful polyphonic versions of the Ave Maria. Um, and then probably the one we all know is the Schubert Ave Maria. And if you go to a wedding or funeral, it's probably a 90% chance you'll hear that rendition of the Ave Maria. And all right, let's get to it. Great. So we're just, we're going to sing this for you and then we'll show you how it's done. All right. Ave Maria, gratia plena, dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus. Nunc et in hora mortis nostre. Amen. And let's go over the, the lyrics real quick. Thomas, you want to go over them for sure. us? Sure. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Gratia plena. Gratia plena. Dominus tecum. Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu, benedicta tu, 
in mulieribus. That's a tough one. In mulieribus. Uh, in mulieribus. In mulieribus. Et benedictus. Et benedictus. Fructus. Fructus. Ventris. Ventris. Tui. Tui. Jesus. Jesus. Not Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Pure vowels in Latin. I'll always remember. Yeah. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui Jesus. Sancta Maria. Sancta Maria. Mater Dei. Mater Dei. Ora pro nobis. Ora pro nobis. Peccatoribus. Peccatoribus. Nunc et in ora. Nunc et in ora. Mortis nostre. Mortis nostre. A lot of people have trouble roaring their R's, including Thomas, although he did pretty good this time. I did all right. And if you can't roll your R's, you definitely want to avoid doing the American R. So peccatoribus. Definitely don't want to do that. Peccatori, I, uh, I flip my R's, which my, my kids make fun of me for sometimes. They think it's Ave Maria, but I sing Ave Maria, Maria. That's, yeah, that's good. It doesn't good. really roll, but it flips. It's like a very soft D. Yeah, Medea, that's an alternate name for the Virgin Mary. That's right. right. Yeah, last time we just, we, we want to emphasize, just try and avoid doing diphthongs as much as possible. So Ave instead of Ave. Maria, uh, what's another one? Sorry, what could be tough in here? Plena. Yeah, don't do plena. Plena. All right. Hmm? Nostre. Yeah. Don't go nostre or no stre. So notice the difference between the no and the no. You might be doing it. Yep. Tall, tall and open vowels. Yeah. Right. Nice and big. So, okay, since we know our Latin perfectly right now, um, we'll go and add the melody. So from the beginning, uh, Thomas, why don't you give this a try? Sure. Ave Maria. Ave Maria. Grazia. Grazia. Grazia plena. Grazia plena, Ave Maria, Grazia plena, Ave Maria, Grazia plena, Dominus. Dominus tecum, tecum, Dominus tecum, Dominus tecum, Benedicta, Benedicta, Benedicta tu, Benedicta tu, in mu. In mu, in mulieri, in mulieri, in mulieribus, in mulieribus, et benedictus. Et benedictus fructus ventris, fructus ventris, fructus ventris tui, fructus ventris tui, tui Jesus. Oh, that's bold. <laughs> tui Jesus. To we Jesus, to we Jesus, at Benedictus, 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 at Bened
benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Great. Let's do the whole first half. Oh, yeah. It's a long, so this is different from our first, in our first episode, we did the Ave Mari Stella, which is a hymn, and so the melody is relatively short, and it repeats over and over again. This is a, uh, an antiphon in very honor long, of the Blessed Virgin long, Mary, yeah. so it's much, much longer. It's actually one of the simpler antiphons, uh, if that gives you any, a little taste for what's coming uh, in the future. Oof. Um, but you'll notice that no part of this repeats. The whole prayer, each part of the prayer has its own melody. So, be of good heart and good cheer, and let's uh, let's let's sing the first half. I'm trying, Thomas. I'm trying. Okay, you're doing great, Giorgio. You're you're putting in practice everything I've ever taught you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta, Sancta Maria, Sancta Maria, Sancta Maria, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Mater Dei, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, Sancta Maria, Mater Dei. Ora, ora, ora pro no. Ora pro no. Ora pro nobis. Ora pro nobis. Peca. Peca, peccato, peccato, peccatoribus, peccatoribus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, Ora pro nobis peccatoribus. Nunc et, nunc et, nunc et in, nunc et in, nunc et in ora, nunc et in ora. Mortis, mortis, mortis nostre, mortis nostre, mortis nostre, amen. Mortis nostre, Whole second half. So the whole second half. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Well, that, that's quite a lot. Um, that's a lot. Why don't we do it from beginning to end, and we'll just kind of do it at a lightning slow speed. We'll, Ooh, I like uh, that. Not lightning, a snail speed. Let's snail do a snail pace. speed. And, you know, why don't we just add a, a low, 
or yeah, I could do I could do a low one and then so yeah, some low. Ready? Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum, benedicta tu in mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus, Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre, Amen. Great. I would encourage you to revisit this a few times. Test yourself, sing through it, and then here's my my uh, challenge for you: is sing this once a day. It's a beautiful. It's a beautiful antiphon to Our Lady, and see how that changes your changes your prayer and, and it becomes yeah. part of your life it's also a good spiritual flex around friends and family just to prove just that you're to, holier than thou right. which is really what this is all about mm-hmm. so <laughs> it's it's a clear clear way to sanctity at least on the that's forefront right. that's right yeah <laughs> all right well we'll see you all in the next podcast thanks for joining us today Thanks for joining us on the Chant School podcast. For more information, check out our show notes for PDFs or links to the chants that we've sung today and any other resources that are relevant. And uh, head over to our website, floriani.org, for more information. If you guys are Instagram users, you can also look us up at Floriani Sacred Music and listen to some of our tunes that we post on there. Thanks very much. God bless. See you later.